Hi, I will analyze the short story The Secret Life of Walter Mitty by James Thurber, written in 1939. The story is about a desperate man named Walter Mitty who doesn't want to face his real-life situations and tries to escape through having constant daydreams. Mr. Mitty dreams of having a successful and happy life opposite to his own life. The story has a third person has a third has a third person narrative and the narrator is limited omniscient, meaning that the narrator has only access to Mr. Mitty's mind and imagination, and thus the events are only told through his eyes. Therefore, the narrator doesn't enter the mind of other characters, for instance, Mr. Mitty's wife. However, Mrs. Mitty's character is brought out through her speaking and actions in interaction with Mr. Mitty. The story starts in media res in the middle of Mr. Mitty's first fantasy. Although, there isn't, although it isn't known to the readers that they are reading Mr. Mitty's imagination, as they aren't used any name, and Mr. Mitty is only referred to as the commander, this can be seen to the first quote, we are going through, the commander voice was like thin ice breaking. It is first later in the second paragraph where the readers get more information and find out that the first paragraph is about Mr. Mitty's fantasy. Each of Mr. Mitty's imaginations is, is similarly tricked by actual events that are happening at the moment for him. For instance, in the first daydream, we read about um, powering up a navy hydroplane which is followed by his wife complaining that he's driving too fast. This shows that, that Mr. Mitty's daydreams are inspired by his real life events, only a bit more exciting. Another example can also be seen in his second daydream where his wife orders him to put on his gloves. In the meanwhile, he dreams of being a famous surgeon and donning his surgical gloves. One of the first descriptions of Mrs. Mitty is, she seemed grossly unfamiliar, like a strange woman. The phrase grossly unfamiliar is the first phrase used to describe Mrs. Mitty. These words do not have a positive impact and create kind of a negative picture of Mrs. Mitty. In the same sentence, both the words unfamiliar and strange are used. These words have a similar meaning but are still used to strengthen each other. This quote gives a quite good idea of how Mr. Mitty thinks of his wife and how the relationship between them is. Mrs. Mitty is not just a normal lovely wife, but more of a stranger woman who doesn't show any concern for her husband's feeling. She refers to Mr. Mitty's fantasy as one of your days. Instead of trying to talk to him like a caring wife would have, she only suggests that Mr. Mitty goes to see a doctor. This shows how, the, how indifferent he is to her husband's problem. It can also be seen that Mrs. Mitty is a domineering woman. She nags her husband to buy overshoes put on the gloves and avoid speeding. She doesn't have many dialogues in the story, but those few lines she has show how much bossy she is. In all of her lines, she is either yelling at Mr. Misty for doing something wrong or she's, yelling, she's telling him what to do. On the other hand, Mr. Mitty is nothing like his wife. He's just a forgetful guy who, ge who gets bossed around by his wife. He's a failure who can do simple ta tasks like driving without his wife yelling at him. Therefore, to competence for his failings in the real world, Mr. Mitty creates an entirely secret life for himself, in which he is a powerful and successful man, completely opposite to his real life. Despite all the negative things about Mrs. Mitty, he is Walter's connection to the real world. Whenever Mr. Mitty daydreams and loses sight of the real world, his wife reminds him about reality and ensures that her husband avoids accident and doesn't lose sight of the reality. An example can be seen where Mr. Mitty forgets that he's driving too fast and his wife reminds him about slowing down. James Thurber uses mostly spoken language. It is, for example, used through the character's dialects. He also uses different literary elements in the text, such as symbolism and imagery. These elements help his text to be more interesting. There is creativity and playfulness to Thurber's writing style. He even describes sounds using the word, which can be seen in the first fantasy, where he's describing the sound of the Navy hydroplane. He also gives some words specific meaning. For instance, the word gloves, overshoes, or the car symbolizes how dominating Mr. Mitty's wife is. First, he urges him to drive slowly, then turns him to buy overshoes and wear gloves. 
As mentioned earlier, Mr. Mitty's fantasy is inspired by the reality, but this goes both ways. Further in the story, Mr. Mitty, through one of his fantasies, is able to remember something he has forgotten, which were Poppy Biscuit. Even though he is daydreaming, Mr. Mitty is still able to remind himself of reality. This means that his imagination is not completely an escape from reality and his circumstances. No matter how hard he tries, but still he cannot escape from his reality. James Thurber shows the transition between the real world and the fantasy world in paragraphs. This means that each fantasy and each transition in the real world starts at a new paragraph. Although this isn't true for the last fantasy, the transition happens in the same paragraphs, which again is a sign that Mr. Mitty is having trouble separating fantasy from the real world. His second life might not be an escape from his real life forever. James Thurber writes about Walter Mitty, a man who doesn't want to face real-life situations, hence tries to escape by having constant daydreams. There are different ways to escape from responsibilities and reality. For example, some do drugs, some drink alcohol, but Mr. Mitty daydreams as a way to escape his boring life into a world full of fantasy. But this may not be a, an alternative for a long term. There is a point where escape is no longer an option and he, he will have to face his problems eventually.